I know that you have dreamed about owning a beautiful vacation home in your favorite vacation market, but what if I were to tell you that it might be a really bad financial decision? Today, I'll show you a smarter way to be able to still live your dream vacation lifestyle while making your money work for you. For so many people, the idea of owning a vacation home in their favorite vacation spot is the American dream. Having that place that you can escape to whenever you want and just go there and enjoy it and be in this happy place. But what if I were to tell you there is now a better way? Instead of being locked into one location, you can still enjoy that vacation lifestyle, but we're just going to use that money to make a healthier profit. Here's what I've seen. I've seen many people get emotionally attached to one vacation market that maybe they grew up going to, and they love that place so, so much, and they want to be able to go there year after year, and so they want to buy a property in that market so they can use it whenever they want. The problem is that most of these markets do not cash flow well, and so then what ends up happening is, yes, you get your dream vacation home and your dream vacation vacation market. However, you are either not making any money at all, or you are losing money and you still have to manage that property the entire time just so that you can use it every once in a while. And I strongly believe this because I have studied over 350 markets and there are only a handful of markets that actually produce really strong cash flow, which means the other hundreds of markets that I have studied all produce either negative cash flow or hardly any cash flow at all. And those are most likely the markets that you were looking into. And on top of that, it only takes one bad thing happening to the property where the roof goes or the foundation goes or the furnace goes or something along those lines, where if your property is breaking even, it is now losing you money. And all of a sudden this dream vacation home is no longer very dreamy. What if you could live that dream vacation lifestyle and not be financially stressed? Here's the smarter option. Instead of buying a home in your dream vacation market, what you will do is you'll take that same money that you were going to invest into that property and instead put it into a different property in a different market where that market can produce a lot of cash flow, anywhere from 2000 to 3000, all the way up to $5,000 a month in free cash flow. You may be rolling your eyes right now and saying that's not possible. I will prove to you by the end of the video that it is possible. Let's look at an example. Let's hypothetically say you buy a home in your dream vacation market. We'll call that market A. And that home costs you about $500,000. However, after managing it for the entire year and renting it out and paying all of your expenses, you walk away with about $500 a month, which is not bad whatsoever. You're still walking away with a profit. However, let's hypothetically say that instead of buying in market A, you decide to buy in market B. And in market B, the home costs you also $500,000, but it produced an additional $3,000 a month or $36,000 for the year. And what you can do with that $36,000 a year is you can take that money and go and rent out a property in your dream market for one week or two weeks or even a month because you have $36,000 additional dollars going into your bank account. And I can almost guarantee that the home that you're going to rent out is not going to cost you more than $36,000 for a week or a month, which then means you can still enjoy your favorite vacation town and stay at a really nice cottage whenever you want throughout the year. But now you will have a additional money to do whatever you want with. And on top of that, there's a ton of additional pros. You don't have to stay in the exact same cottage every single year. If you have a large group coming, you can rent a larger home. If you're just going with a couple of friends, it's a smaller party, you can rent a smaller home. If you find a place that you love, you can go there year after year after year and get a really great discount by being a returning guest because most hosts will give a discount if you show up year after year after year. And the best part about it is that you just show up, enjoy the cottage, and then leave and let them take care of everything else, even clean in the place. And when the roof does go, it's not on you. And then your favorite vacation town is still your favorite vacation town because you haven't been burdened by a property that doesn't make you any money that you have to spend 11 months out of the year working on. Now, the major con here is that you don't get your favorite vacation home in your favorite vacation market. And you don't have a family cottage that you can tell your friends to go enjoy or your family to go enjoy whenever they want because you bought this home for the family. And let me just state that I completely completely understand where you're coming from because I want that too. Who doesn't, right? Who doesn't want to be able to have enough money to put into a second home in their favorite vacation market and let everybody use it whenever they want and have an annual trip where the whole family goes there? That's the dream. I am not that financially well off as of now to be able to take that money and be okay with it, not bringing in more money. The whole point of saving the money and investing it is that you get a return on your dollars. And so all I'm trying to show you here, good cash flowing properties, those cash flowing properties will allow me to eventually get that dream vacation home where it can lose money and I am okay with that, but I can still retire 
and have a property that potentially loses money on an annual basis. How great would that be? So here's the takeaway. If you're dreaming of getting that beautiful vacation home in your favorite vacation market, don't let your emotions make the decision. Instead, be smart with your money and put it towards a property that can actually produce additional cash flow and use that cash flow to be able to go stay in all the other Airbnbs that are available in your dream vacation market and enjoy it as much as you possibly want and then use the additional dollars for whatever you want. Now, a couple of additional things here. Yes, I am buying. Bias. And you may be thinking, John, you're only saying these things because you want people to use your service. I would love people to use my service, but I also don't want people to make bad financial decisions. I also know that what I'm saying, dollars for dollars, makes complete sense. Logically, maybe not emotionally, but logically, the math adds up. My business is more so based around ensuring that nobody buys an unprofitable property and not necessarily my service, which is why I've created so much free content helping other people be able to find profitable properties. And if your property is not profitable, but you're emotionally in love with it and you're losing money on it, but you're not financially set up to be able to lose money on it, then you need to do something different. Now, the second thing here is that if you find yourself in that situation where you did already buy your dream vacation home in your dream vacation market and you are losing money on it and it's taking a lot of work from you and you just want to get out of that property, you have the 1031 exchange option, which essentially allows you to be able to sell that property, take those funds and move them into another property without getting taxed like crazy. I'll be coming up with additional information on that. But for now, be sure to like and subscribe for one that content does come out so you can actually be notified when it shows up. And always remember that if you need help finding a property, I have a service that can help you do that. You can click the link down below. And if you want to be able to see more proof of what we have done, check out this video of Allison, who we helped her find a property that is cash flowing nearly $40,000 a year. Everything that I just stated is true, is factual, it is possible. And this video will prove that. Enjoy.